In this story, I'm going to tell you about the cotton mills and losses. It was the 1790s when New England built the first American textile mills. The mills were to make cloth or clothes from the raw cotton. It was a lot of hard work. We had to clean the cotton, take out all the seeds, and we had to stretch it until it was flat out for feet. We all decided that we needed a new way to clean the cotton. We made about 1,000 bales of cotton in one day. In it was about 1793 when Ellen Wainley, a school teacher, made a new way to clean cotton. He called it the cotton gin or the cotton engine. The machine had wire teeth with two thin rollers that would get out all the seeds. Soon after that, the planters found out that year after year they needed new soil to plant on new soil. Their soil was no good. After the war of 1850, they started moving west. The Cotton Kingdom after that expanded from South Carolina, Alabama, and Mississippi to Texas. The cotton started to boom. They started to make 6,000 bales of cotton per year. Later, um, that year, we found a way to make 2 million bales of cotton. We started calling it the cotton boom. Unfortunately, they still needed slaves to pick and put it through the machines. They needed about 50 slaves to help pick the cotton and put it through the machines. The cotton gin was a lot easier to use than our bare hands. After that, the cotton we made became a big cash crop in the South. It was one of the biggest cash crops. They had other cash crops to make a little extra money, like tobacco, rice, sugar, and sugar cane. Many people didn't care if the crops were successful. They were happy if cotton stayed king. They worried that the soil would go bad, but they didn't care. They were king of the cash crop.